ready to start telling us what's going on with her dog. So she adopted, you adopted a dog yesterday, is that right? Yes, from the Arizona Humane Society. They had a special because dogs are really having issues with the heat, so more people need to adopt dogs. Well, that's beautiful. What's your new dog's name? So we're still trying to decide that. It might be Elizabeth, 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 because she keeps backing her butt up to things, and that's one of the ways she gets attention. She wants lots of touching, lots of physical affection, and she has issues with anxiety. Okay, so my friend, your name is? Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Really happy we're doing this. So we just found out she picked me up at an event here in Phoenix, Lyft, which I love you, Lyft, L-Y-F-T, and guess what? We, she knows a lot about the people I socialize with, with longevity, and she also knows that biochemistry can do a lot. And one of the, she, was, she was like, hey, can, can I ask you some questions about my dog? Do you think nutrients can help my dog? So that's what we're doing right now. We're doing a nice little spontaneous little podcast here, Facebook Live. So back to your doggy. Lots of anxiety. So one of the things that come to mind is, do you give a dog an anti-anxiety medication? Or do you give a dog an antidepressant? Or do you do anything chemically? Or, or can you do something nutritionally? You can do, that's a great question. And I would, the answer is all of those things are options. But I would really want you, okay, first off, let's get real. She's just been in doggy jail, right? Yes. Now, if I just got out of human jail, I would definitely need some downtime and some recovery, right? Right. And the reason she was in doggy jail is because she was locked up in a bathroom for extended periods of time, and she began to eat the bathroom one piece of insulation at a time. Ooh, yeah, so we, so she has a history of, of being a bad doggy, and so yeah, so she went to the pound, she got adopted out, if that's what you're saying. Yes. And so I would recommend, you know, I know you know a little bit about the products I represent, right. and you know, our founder started out as a veterinarian, and honestly, you guys, you just can't beat the research we have. And humans need the same nutrition that dogs need. And so one of the great things about, you know, the company, of course, that I work with, but even then, the simple biochemistry that we practice and study, so we have a product called Arthro, it's called Arthrodex, and I want you to look at that, but that's pretty much the same thing. You know, these 60 essential minerals, the 16 essential vitamins, the 12 essential amino acids, and that would be a powder that you would sprinkle. But let's just back up. Let's not talk about money right now. You know, I know how you and I were discussing like diet. So are you feeding her a really clean diet? What are you feeding her? So I received her on the diet of uh, science something. Science diet? Science diet, mm -hmm. yes. And I'm mixing that with something good from Pet Club. Not sure what, but at the moment. But a healthier diet than you would pick up with Purina or in the grocery store. Okay. Well, FYI, um, we, you know, the quality is still questionable with yes, science diet. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Yeah. And so we need. I, you know, with her, I would definitely think of the Arthrodex. And then another great thing I love for pets is Bach flower essence. Have you ever heard of that? Oh, about absolutely, that? yeah. Yeah, do you have some of that at home? I don't have any of them right now. Okay, you're going to get some of that? Which one would you recommend? I like just the rescue remedy, and I put that oh, in their yeah. water when they're acclimating. Oh, yeah. And I put it, I take you take a little bit of Bach flower uh, re rescue remedy, mm -hmm. and you put it in their, um, on the tips of their ears. Have you ever heard that acupressure point? So for animals, yeah. when you take the tips of their ears right here, you would put that on the tips of their ears and you put a little bit on their lips, a little bit on their nose and in their water and that really helps them kind of calm down and get back, you know, get back, get their wheels underneath them, get their paws underneath them. Can you use both the drops and the and the salve? I just use the, the drops. Cream? I think the drop does double duty and uh, yeah, so that that's a, a more, you know what I mean? And then back to when we discuss nutrition, I mean, it's so critical that everything's bioavailable. And, and, you know, the mission that you already know that we're on, you know, Longevity is on a serious mission. And, you know, we've sued the Food and Drug Administration nine times and we've won every time. Wow. And, uh, you know, we're here for the little guy, one way or the other. And, um, but irregardless of that, nutrition, you guys, it always circles back around to that. And what we're giving our animals and ourselves, it all ties into, it's a very big picture. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off now, but I'm tell really me, happy. Before you do, though, tell me again the name of the product. And is it a food? It's a powder. Oh, a powder. Yep. Okay. And it would be uh, 87 out of her nutritional nutrients that she needs. 
so it's called Arthrodex, and I'll definitely post that on this video, and I'll, I'll be tagging you too. So Arthrodex. wave goodbye. Wave goodbye to these okay, freaks. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>